In a groundbreaking collaboration, the Global Organic Textile Standard has teamed up with the European Space Agency and MARPOL, an AI firm, to revolutionize the monitoring of organic cotton cultivation. So we are, for more than 20 years, we are pioneers, pioneering solutions for the industry to, to help them on their journey for more sustainability. And when I first heard about this project, I immediately realized that if this works, this satellite technology in, together with artificial intelligence, if this works, this will be a game changer. The project tackles two major issues, increasing the availability of organic cotton and strengthening the integrity of organic cotton. For the global textile and fashion industry, I think that one of the greatest benefits that this technology can have is really increasing the amount of organic cotton that can be available. Since some years, the demand for organic cotton exceeds supply tremendously. With this technology, we can identify areas which could be certified to organic agriculture, so according to the IFOM family of standards, but are not certified yet. So it's, it's a low-hanging fruit. Um, only by identifying those fields and connect the, the farmers to the supply chain then and to bring supply and demand together. The other benefit is uh, the increase in integrity through fraud prevention. We are improving the integrity measures ongoing and it becomes more and more difficult for fraudsters to undermine the system. We are always looking for technology, and this technology helps us a lot to make it cost efficient. The AI software developed by MARPOL processes satellite images to distinguish between organic and conventional cotton fields. Cotton Cultivation Remote Assessment, or Kokura, is a technology which is based on machine learning and earth observation. It's a really good fit to to implement something in a, in a purposeful topic. And that's how we started with Kokura, actually. We decided to pilot the project in India and starting in Gujarat because India produces the majority of the organic cotton in the world. And so we, we thought, okay, let's see if this technology can work in India. India is you know, full of very small fields, uh, small plots, um, the more tropical climates, um, mixed planting systems. This was a considerable challenge for the, uh, for the AI system to overcome and to design um, a system that, that could actually process all those variables. For India, we talk about a lot of baselines due to the different microclimate areas. So the technology is a lot more advanced and uh, it has different layers. And we apply it uh, step by step in order to get to the final result, to detect cotton fields, and then in the last step to distinguish between organic and non-organic. And one of the great things about this technology is that it's not just one snapshot, is that it's actually a series of images so we can see how a field changes over time. We can see how the crop rotations go, we can see how quickly crops are growing, and these are affected by practices that um, differentiate organic and conventional. We achieved an accuracy to detect organic cotton fields of above 80% and we are constantly improving the system. So with every run on the data we do and every ongoing training, the quality will be improved. Now that we have demonstrated that it works for many, many climate zones also in India with the small holders and all the obstacles, we are very confident and we plan to extend it all over the world to have all cotton fields registered finally in our global fiber registry. We think it's a perfect combination using satellite technology, satellite images, artificial intelligence to improve people's lives from farm to fashion and help sustainable development. 